hello guys put that URL on your Chrome browser hello guys we use that URL download the contents and once you download you will find that zip file here you can extract its zip file to get the folder Ubuntu and within that Ubuntu folder you will find a file Ubuntu.vdi this is the disk image which you have to use in one of the virtual machines to use it open virtual box create a new machine to create a new machine you can give any name I am using my Ubuntu you can specify the path where you want to store it continue make sure that it is Linux and it is Ubuntu next you decide how much memory you want to allocate to it 1 GB is more than sufficient for the demos you can continue here do not create a new hard disk the one which I supplied here just select it so say use existing virtual disk click on the button here you will have to add it first click on that add button go to the directory where you have downloaded maybe I have downloaded that in my Ubuntu right here this is the file select it it will appear here select that say choose and this is the file which contains the operating system and the required libraries continue to create that virtual machine it's right now there I can see that it's powered off which means it's not running you can either right click on this and say run or maybe you can click on the start button right there so click on the start button it will start in a sec right here it's booting will take second or two okay the booting is done it is looking for uh, open uh, the login maybe the login is sunbeam that's a username sunbeam1234 that's the password so once you enter your credentials you will see the Ubuntu running this virtual machine does not have UI and the good thing is we don't need UI so we are going to use only the commands so this is a bare bone operating system which does not include the desktop which will take less amount of memory and that's the reason why I've installed that in the console mode so the very first command that I want to use here is to check my IP address so the, my IP address right now is a 10.0. Uh, see here 2.5 now actually I can't use it I mean I can still use all the commands right here I can see docker image ls everything will work here but the problem with this is uh, it does not give you the color it does not give you the copy paste feature and that's the reason I'm not going to do it in this way better first check the IP address the IP address here is 10.0.2.5 which means it is the private IP address you cannot use this IP address externally so what I want you to do is you can click on that button maybe right here the network button click on that go to the network settings by default it is using NAT so change that NAT to bridge the adapter so set, this to, set it to bridge adapter say ok it will take couple of seconds let me clear the screen and use the command again uh, if config you can see that ENP0S3 is not having any IP address as associated with it it's just because it takes few seconds to get or to acquire the IP address okay I got the IP address now it's 192.168.2.115 so now whichever operating system you are using probably you might be using Ubuntu or you may be using Mac if you are using um, any of the Linux or Mac you can open your terminal application and straight away use SSH command so SSH sunbeam at the rate the IP address you see here so IP address is 192 168 2.115 it will ask you to enter uh, um, it will ask you what is the IP address 2.115 okay in my case I already have logged into the similar machine so let me just clear it out in this case I'm going to go back to the host one and uh, probably I must be having 192 2.115 already exactly so let me delete it so not required and let us try it one more time so the command is ssh sunbeam at the rate 192 2.115 enter it will ask you whether you want to connect it I am sure I want to connect to that machine say yes password is same sp sunbeam1234 so you see everything is exactly similar so you can use all the commands there docker image ls it shows every single thing what you can run here so probably you can say docker image ls you see the same output 
I would prefer using this one. So if you want, you can do it in this way or if you want, you can do it in this way. Whichever one you will prefer, it's up to you. Now, those people who are using Windows, for them, you can't directly have that SSH command. So better, you can use a put TY. Now, unfortunately, I don't use Windows. So probably you will have to download that uh, put TY application on your machine and use that path, uh, use that IP address and directly connect to that machine. If you face any problem, ping me on WhatsApp, probably I can answer it there. Thank you very much.